It was August 2022 when the bisexual dating app Binder hit the matchmaking market. CEO Mary Richardson says the app was developed after noticing a lack of queer representation on other dating platforms. We didn't find anything that really worked for me and my co-founder as people under the bisexual umbrella. So there's pansexual, there's so many different things. We decided to just do away with the labels and make it much more fluid. Richardson and her co-founder developed the app after receiving funding through the Penn State Launchbox program, a statewide initiative to spur economic development, job creation, and student career success. Less than two years later, the app has gone worldwide. We're in every single country where it's legal to be LGBTQ. And we found a lot of people from outside the cities, and now it's starting to populate main cities as well. Richardson says the app broke its 100,000 user milestone earlier this year and averages about 1,000 new users a day. The company expects to reach 1 million users by next summer. We want to keep pushing it. Uh, even though we've had acquisition offers, we are looking to just keep it growing and be the next big leader for dating apps. In 2023, Richardson won an award for Women in Technology and was nominated for Forbes 30 Under 30. She hopes her success will serve as a model for other young entrepreneurs. Women only get 2% of all venture capital funding, and it's even less if you're a woman of color or queer. So the fact that we are doing so well with our funding and we built a company that's hard to say no to, I hope can inspire more women and people to do it. Now, Richardson and her team are expected to attend Pride events in D.C. and New York. She's also expected to graduate from PSU York this fall.